Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I'm back with another episode of the Zombie Hotline. And I skipped a few levels, probably about 30 minutes of gameplay from the last episode. Just because if I don't skip some of it, we are never going to get through this video series. <laughs> but we get all the way up to round 22, I believe. So I skipped ahead to round 12, mainly because it would have been like two or three more episodes until we did anything that had to do with the send them to paradise Easter egg. So I skipped up to the next step in the Easter egg where you shoot a crawler with the VR-11 and that it causes this guy to get sucked up into this green light and then you have to kill him so you gotta shoot him with the scavenger and he eventually will die you'll see like this shot this crazy thing hold on you'll see right here at the top yeah right there and then at the bottom at the bottom of the light we will go find our present, which is a golden rod. <laughs> so you pick up the golden rod and you take it back to the room where the four characters are trapped. <laughs> Sharp tube dolphin diving down there. And then you stick it in the little slot there like a bank teller pneumatic device. And they do some stuff in there and talk and blah, 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 blah. And I will also put a link to the Sharp Tubes full tutorial of this Easter egg. Because I don't go into too much detail about how to actually do it. But I, I wanted to just mention this part because this is where we get the Wonder Waff. So... Here we get something, and then you'll see some sparks come out of the fuse that we stuck into the machine earlier. And when the sparks come out, I think you have to, like, knife at it. And then... And then once you do, they do a little bit more talking. And it stops spar sparking. I thought maybe the glass actually had to shatter, but it doesn't. Just once it stops sparking, then it's good to go but I kept knifing at it anyway <laughs> and then they do a little bit more talking and then you see this drop that looks like a death machine drop and I'm like whoa we didn't get it I thought it was trying to give us a death machine but when you pick up the what looks like a death machine there I'm like whoa we didn't get it why didn't we get it <laughs> but you get the wonder waff and I'm a I'm a pretty big failure with the Wonder Waff. <laughs> I have probably one of the best guns that you could possibly get in the game, and I think I only have it for like five minutes before I get knocked down by some zombies and I lose it. So if you get knocked down and someone revives you, you you lose your Wonder Waff. So that, don't get knocked down. Pro tip, pro anti fail tip: do not get knocked down when you get the Wonder Waff because it took like. Oh, I don't even know how long. It was like 40 minutes of doing this Easter egg to get this Wonder Waff. And I have it for, I don't know, I'm probably under five minutes. And I get knocked down. Fail! So, all right. Well, this is the zombie hotline. So, let's get to some zombie hotline calls. So, hello. You are the first caller on the zombie hotline. Hey, what's up, Wicked Trap? No, this what's is up, Frank. dude? Uh, I'm calling to ask you a question about the Easter egg with the Wonder Waffle. Yeah, you like this Wonder Waffle. Earlier, and um, <laughs> we're doing the codes, but every time we move one code for like yellow, orange, or purple, or yeah. I don't know what the colors are, like one would move to the right. And I was wondering if you could show how to do it because I'm, per I'm pretty sure many are wondering how to do that. All right, thanks. Bye. All right. And I have no idea how to turn the dials, but as I said earlier, uh, Sharp has a complete tutorial video walkthrough to show you how to do it and I will make sure that I put that video a link to that video in the description so sharp will be able to hook you up so yeah it, I hope you are enjoying the wonder waff here and it is the wonder waff but people call it the wonder waffle just because I don't know it's kind of like a nickname for it I guess because wonder waff kind of sounds like wonder waffle I don't know too many other things that 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 sound like waff besides waffle <laughs> all right so let's go to the next caller hello you're on the zombie hotline oh, you got burger hello? king chicken fries are the best 
Yes, they are. Thank you for calling. I totally agree. <laughs> Alright, who else we have? Hello? What's up, Wicked? It's Money Infinity Show Gaming Clarity. And What's I'm up, man? Watch one of your videos. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Well, the videos are great. Keep up the good work. And, you know, just keep up doing what you're doing. You're one of the better YouTube commentators. And, like, Thanks. you hold open lobbies regularly. Yep. So you're really in contact with your fans like me and a lot of people. And also, it'd be nice to kind of change it up a bit by having someone with, uh, someone slightly older instead of all these little kids on your video suit. Or sending this voice and kind of annoys people. <laughs> <laughs> well. Kind of proof that Call of Duty is full of people, younger kids that collect the game, but hopefully by holding another, an older person and make it better. So yeah, keep up the good work, Wicked. You're awesome. Thanks, dude. And anyone, anyone is allowed to call in, so. This is open open phone line, so as I said in some videos before, it just seems like the the younger crowd seems more, I guess, less inhibited to call and aren't really, have no insecurities or inhibitions about calling in. So maybe that is just why the younger crowd seems to be predominantly featured on the zombie hotline. But I wanted to make sure that Anyone that is calling that is a, you know, an older person and wants to say something, you have a very strong likelihood of being featured just because there are so many young people that do call in that I, I will try to feature more of the older, like over 18 crowd. If, if you guys are calling in and have something to say, I will certainly put it on the videos. So call in. And you'll get on the air. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next caller. Hello. Hey. Hey. I like your videos. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hey. Um. It's, um. My name's Jacob. What's up, um, Jacob? And also, my question is, what is your favorite perk? And um, what do you think of the new perk, Deadshot? Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Deadshot. Yeah, it's Deadshot. Deadshot Daiquiri, I think, is what it is. And well, let's see. Let's. My favorite perk is probably Juggernaut because it's like almost essential, and I find myself buying it uh, very frequently because I get knocked down so often. <laughs> so I don't know. I was. Like here, I'm just trying to get 80 more points so I could buy, buy Juggernog again, and I wish that I didn't get knocked down so much. I I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I get knocked down a lot. Like I could do good at like killing a lot of zombies. I maybe I play too aggressively and trying to rush up in the zombie spawns, and I should try to keep my distance a little bit more, and. I, th I think the zombies are lag switching me, <laughs> but I don't know. But Juggernog's my favorite perk, and it's definitely the one that I buy the most because I, I lose it. Seems like once around by getting knocked down, but maybe not quite that bad. But about the Deadshot Daiquiri, I I think I've only bought it one time, and. I really don't buy that many perks because I always lose them and I always find myself saving up money to buy Juggernog. So I, I'm not the kind of dude that has like all the perks loaded up for the whole game. But Sharp Tube, Sharp, <laughs> I keep saying Sharp Tube because it's gamer, gamer tag Sharp Tube, but it's Sharp. He was a total beast and getting, didn't get knocked down this whole game until, you know, of course the very end he got knocked down. So, I'm not sure what his favorite perk is, but I'm sure he likes them all. He likes having them all. Alright, so, I also wanted to mention that I'm playing with Sons of Justice and QP25. And I'll have links to their channels in the description as well. So, alright, let's take another call. Hello, you're on the zombie hotline. Hello, Governor. Hello. I have a comment for you. Okay. I'm too lazy to comment in the section. Your videos are epic. Thanks, dude. That's it? Man, you are pretty lazy. You're too lazy to move your fingers up and down to, to type a comment. That's, that is really, that takes the cake of laziness. 
But thanks for calling, dude. Uh, all right, let's. We got some time for some more calls. So, hello, you're on the zombie hotline. Um, hey, yo, it's me again. Hey. I know it's kind of awkward, but you're the only friend I, you're the only friend I ever had. That is kind of awkward. I don't have any friends. Mm. The best friend I ever had. Hmm. No lies. Well, I'm glad you consider me your friend. So, yeah. Oh, see you. Rock, man. All right, dude. Well, I don't know. That's a little concerning that I am the best friend that you ever had, considering that I, I don't know you. I know that you like my videos and you're a fan, so that's really cool. And... I'm glad you consider me to be your friend, and I like to be everyone's friend, so that's really cool. But I think that you need to get more in real life friends. So, to, to make friends, show yourself friendly. Be more outgoing and friendly and try to talk to people and find people that are interested in things that you're interested in. I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know, find, find some group. I used to go to, like, libraries a lot. They would, they would have, like, events at the public library, and you can meet people that way. Or, I don't know. I don't know. But, but you should meet some people in real life and, and make friends. Everyone should have in, at least one in real life friend. I I had a lot of like friends that I, you know, at school where I considered, you know, yeah, he's my friend, but I really only hung out with probably just a handful of of friends in high school. So just having a, a, a couple close friends just to be able to talk to because really uh, this is like a, a one-way friendship except for the zombie hotline you guys can call in. But I'm not really hanging out with any of you guys. <laughs> We're just virtually hanging out on YouTube. So, I don't know. Let's just go to the next caller. Hello? Yo, Wicked. Nice channel, bro. See, I'm watching Thanks, man. Of videos right now. Cool. The Zombie Hotline, so I'm calling right now. Keep on the great work. Love your channel. Peace out, bro. All right, man. Well, thanks for calling. And I'm glad you like my stuff. So, alright, another caller. We'll take one more. Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and you are on the zombie hotline. Yo, um, hey. I just checked out your videos, man. You got some really deep videos there. Thanks, man. I was wondering if you knew about the Wonder Waffle. And yes, I do. If you did, I probably don't know because I never saw your videos that much. I only saw the zombie hotline. Yep. And, yeah. Also, can you mention when the PS Network, I mean the PS3 is going to get uh, escalation? That will be really cool, thanks. Alright, well this was the first video that I ever showed the Wonder Waff, so... You called at the right time! <laughs> and as far as PS3 getting the map pack, I think it just came out today, which is the 9th. So, I think it just came out today. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that it just came out today. If I'm wrong, then I'm sure there'll be people criticizing me in the comments <laughs> saying that I'm an idiot and then you'll know that it's wrong and someone that obviously knows the answer will tell you in the comments. <laughs> so I think we're gonna wrap it up here and made it to level 14 in this video. So I'm gonna put an annotation on the screen so once the next video is available, you'll just be able to click on the screen to continue to the next video. But before you go, if you could just take a moment of your time to rate the video, and I'm gonna put a link to the video on the Machinima Respawn app. If you can click that link and just bump me on the Machinima Respawn app, that will help me out a ton. So thanks for watching guys, and I will talk to you later.